remember those who died serving our country this Memorial Day. Our Bruce Harrison shares a story of friendship born out of a simple act of kindness today at Wisconsin Memorial Park. We can help remember those who died by caring for those who know they lived. I came out for the band and I ran into Ivan. Pete and Ivan, a veteran and a veterinarian. So a couple of vets, how about that? One served, the other cared. How do you two fellas know each other? Well, he uh, got a flag for me today and he was sitting next to me. But that's it? That's it, we just met today. Yeah, he got me a bottle of water, got me a flag, and now we're friends. Pete cared about what Ivan, at 96, still remembers. Melvin Zastro there you go. Yeah. and Art, uh, oh, I missed his name now. Ivan's buddies, Malvin and Art, who in Korea fought and died. This is a time to be thankful for that and memorialize all their efforts to provide us the life that we have. Together, Pete and Ivan cared for the parents of police officer Peter Jerving, who honored the fallen, including their son. So they go, often without a lot of recognition, off to battle in the dirt that the rest of us managed to escape. You've joined the ranks of everyone who fought so freedom could be won. Although your job on earth is done, your work in heavens just begun. And together, by caring for those lost, new friends now have plans to do more remembering. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm going to get his name into that or as soon as we get done. Sure. If he gives it to me. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Reporting in Milwaukee, Bruce Harrison, TMJ4 News.